Hi, my name is Ursula Donovan and I would like to welcome you here today to the Institute of Technology, TALA. Within the Department of Humanities here, we offer a wide range of courses in culinary arts and hospitality studies at higher certificate level and degrees. Hi, my name is Annette Swinney. I'm a lecturer in culinary arts here in the Institute of Technology in TALA. We run three programmes, the higher certificate in culinary arts, the CAO code for that is TA006. And then we also have the National Apprenticeship Programme, Certificate of Professional Cookery. Students progressing from these courses can go on to do the Bachelor of Arts in Culinary Arts, which is a two-year degree, part-time degree programme. So they can continue to work in the industry and as well as attending college. So they have the benefit of both worlds there. We're very involved in industry and running this programme. Industry are very supportive of what we do. We have our first year students out in industry and they're supported by the top hotels and restaurants. They go out one day a week. Restaurants such as Bon Appetit, Chapter One, Rollies, the hotels such as the Westbury and the Shelburne are some of the establishments we place students in. We would also have links with industry. We have an industry week once a year where the students go out and they meet with these chefs and they also go out into various catering sites. And it's a great experience because they get a chance to see what it's like in the real world outside college. We've also had chefs such as Nevin Maguire, Gordon Ramsay has been here on one occasion, Richard Corrigan has been here, Jerry Clark has been here on number, numerous occasions, he's a great support of the college and our course here. Hi, my name is Ian Malarkey, I'm a first year student in Tala IT doing the higher certificate in culinary arts. We study nutrition, cookery processes with various practical classes where we learn to cook different food commodities. The workload is spread out over the year fairly evenly between practical and written work and it's not a very difficult workload if you keep up with it every week. I'm working in Chapter 1 at the moment, it's my work placement for the college, and I do that every Friday. You learn an awful lot that you can put into practice in the practical class. I came to IT Tala to get more experience and learn an awful lot more about cookery, so I wanted to be a chef from a very young age. So um, I'd like to do the degree course in IT Tala, the degree in culinary arts, and travel Europe for a while, and then I'd like to come back to Ireland and open up my own restaurant. The advice I give is for them to get maybe a summer job in a restaurant or a hotel in the kitchen and they get a better feel for what they're going in to do. At this moment this is a pastry class where we're uh, making gingerbread houses. Decorating them takes about three weeks to make them. It can be tricky enough because you have to get all the pieces to stick together and in the oven they all grow to different sizes. Mondays we start at nine and we're straight into the kitchen to do lunch service for that served at one. Then we have a theory class afterwards to talk about what happened in the kitchen. And then later on we have theory classes through the year as well. Of all different courses like gastronomy, uh, personal development, computers, the costing, food science and nutrition and health and safety and make sure we're all up to scratch. As a part of the course you have to do a four month work experience and I did mine there last summer. You get asked for help and you get as much help as they can but you are on your own, you're there to learn, you're there to put your foot in and make sure you're noticed and not to just sit at the back benches and watch everything to be done. My name is Joy Davis. I'm a student in Tala IT and I'm studying culinary arts. I finished my degree in economics and marketing but um, I found it really wasn't for me working in the office so I've since changed to study culinary arts because I have strong interest in food and, and cooking and I love everything related to that. The course is great that it covers all aspects right from pastry to actually production kitchen so you get to experience real life scenario in the kitchen and we also get to design our own menus which is great. Most days we're in the kitchen from nine o'clock as well as theory classes and practical, um, nine to maybe six o'clock and then on Thursday we have the evening kitchen so we do production and we would be in the kitchen from three o'clock until nine o'clock in the evening. I was fortunate enough to enter um, a board BIA competition it was called From Farm to Fork. I fortunately won that competition, which resulted in two days working in Nevin Maguire's kitchen, McNeve's restaurant. And since those two days, I was offered a part-time job. Um, the best thing about the course is really the balance between the practical and the theory, that you're able to kind of apply what you've learned, the theory, in the practical side of things. And the real-life scenarios of a production kitchen are great get that full experience, the fast-paced kitchen environment. I'm very interested in the BA degree in culinary arts, so I, I hope to continue on after I finish this higher certificate in 
Culinary Arts to go on to do the Bachelor of Arts. Hi, my name is Grace Malpiti. I'm, I'm a second year student in IT Tala. I'm studying, I'm studying hospitality operations. Um, at the moment, I'm studying accounting, marketing, um, food service and event management as well in my course. This is the second year uh, process, but in first year I was doing a language as well and I was doing tourism as well. Um, the most interesting part I like about this course is the events part because, uh, because every Thursday we're split into two groups of two people and each person, each group has an assignment to do, has an event night organised. For example, this Thursday is my night and we're doing a big Christmas theme night since it's Christmas and it's the last day. I decided to do this course because I felt like it was a bridge because I wanted to do event management but I didn't want to go and do my degree straight away so I thought if I do this course for us, it's give me an idea of what it's like so it's like a bridge going on to it but like I've seen what it's like and what and what the industry is all about and I decided that I will continue on doing event management. Uh, my name is Brian Murphy and I lecture on the level 7 BA in international hospitality and tourism management and I also lecture on the level 8 BA in international hospitality and tourism management. Our typical students come from colleges uh, or schools around the area. The students would probably have approximately four to six hours of lectures. They would have theory and they would have practical work. In the first two years of the programme, there's a lot of practical involvement here in the training restaurant, in the kitchen, involved in wine service, in, in, in bar service and cocktails. Um, and then it progresses in, in year three and year four to, to more academic work in terms of strategic management, um, accounting, economics and subjects like that. The degree itself is in international hospitality and tourism management, so it's quite innovative in that context. It, it, it brings together the whole hospitality area and the tourism area, so we'd, we'd want to produce a, a well-rounded student that would find employment both in Ireland but particularly in bro abroad because it's an international degree and that's the focus of the programme. There are two entry points, the entry point at level 7 HETAC and entry point at level 8 HETAC. Level 7 is a three-year programme and you would leave with an ordinary degree BA in International Hospitality and Tourism Management, exit uh, after four years and you leave with an honours degree, an honours BA in International Tourism and Hospitality Management. I think we have a lot of advantages here in Tala. We, we have a number of um, practical um, training rooms like the training restaurant here, the kitchens and the bar. We've also got a low student to staff ratio which is, we think is very important in, in, in the content and the delivery of that content. We also have, have a very good and young team here at Tala that are lecturing on the programme, all have good industry experience and the students benefit from that. We can train the practical skills, we, we can train the, the, the academic nature of management to provide them with a, with a career in the sector, but the students we like to take in have, have good communication skills, strong personalities, uh, enjoy dealing with people, and, and once they have those basic tenets, we, we can then progress those students on uh, to, to a quite a successful career within the hospitality and tourism sector.